Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Prince from Prince TVX and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be checking out the latest video from Jaden Animations and this one is called My The History of My Hair. Now, I actually don't know much about Jaden's hair because it's kind of hard to notice someone's hair by watching the animations of them. But I guess there are some interesting stories behind her hair and I would love to find out. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and check this one out. Hair is most often one of the most defining things someone can have to distinguish what kind of person they are. Artsy, okay. sophisticated, Asian, bald. Do yeah. You know that you're bald. Yes, thank you. <laughs> my mom's a hairdresser, so I've been lucky enough to never have to oh, worry about haircuts ever. Free haircuts for life. That's the biggest positive to having a hairdresser as a parent. Unless your parent That's doesn't give you special treatment. There you go, sweetie. I love you. You're so handsome. That'll be 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? But mine does, so that sucks for you. I've never had anyone else cut my hair, and it wasn't until I moved to California that I realized I didn't trust anyone else to cut my hair. Oh. Like I said, hair is something that makes an impact on first impressions, and if you get a bad haircut, it's pretty much expressing, Hello, nice to meet you. Yes, I do make bad decisions. I've got really <laughs> dummy thick hair, and a lot of it. People often give me compliments on my dummy thick hair, but it's really not as great as you think it is. I'm sure there's a bunch of ways I can style it to be really cool and nice, but I was cursed with not giving a crap, so most of the time I just try to get by without doing anything. Dude, that's like the same thing for me. I love, like, I, I just, the idea of growing out my hair, it's so appealing to me. But every time it gets, like, any taller than this, and then you have to manage the hair, like, conditioning and styling. Oh my god, it's just so, so hard to manage long hair. So, you know, as much as I would love to be the next uh, Aquaman hairstyle, I, I, I don't think I can. It's just too much work. I need a haircut that's just naturally good 99% yeah, of the cut. time. Because if it's not, the best. then what am I going to do about it? Just feel dusty that day, that's what. That's the yeah. yin to the yang of having a hairdresser parent. Since my mom did my hair every day growing up, I never learned how to do anything good with it myself. And now I'm out of the nest and at the mercy of the hair gods, armed with no skills whatsoever. So that's oh, why no. I was really nervous about going to a new hairdresser at first. How is a random, highly trained professional stylist who's been doing hair for 20 years years gonna know anything <laughs> my mom knows what i like but i went to a really good place and they did a good job and i like it it looks exactly mom's knows the best doesn't matter how professional the hair hair cutting guy is I, moms are the best right it's the same thing with food doesn't matter how if you if you're eating at gordon ramsay's restaurant it will never match up to your mom's cooking so there's that. Exactly the same, and like I didn't spend more money than I should have to get it done. The style I have right now is pretty generic. Bangs that swoop to the side and medium length with layers. I'd also like to mention how it doesn't do the weird tufty swoops like this in real life. I don't know how I ended up drawing myself like this. Also, literally no one can draw it, and they complain to me about it when they try, so sorry about <coughs> that. But something you probably didn't know about me is that I have an undercut, and you wouldn't see it because huh? it's hidden when my hair is down. I'm super sneaky like that. I've had it for probably a year and a half now, and there were two main reasons why, why I wanted to get it. One, because I was getting bored with my hair and wanted to do something different. And two, because I have way too much hair on my head, and it was driving me insane. Oh my god, it just <laughs> needed to go. It takes- It's the same thing. It's the same reason I get, like, extreme undercuts. I don't anymore, because I feel like I'm too old to do those sort of experiments and I kind of look weird like with the full undercut but I have done that in the past two three years I can just look up my previous pictures and I have some extreme undercuts and most of the time what happens is I'm so fed up with with the with every time it grows out and I'm like you know what I have to get rid of it so I just I could just get a normal cut but no I, I just go all the way and it doesn't end Half up looking so good. Half a day to drive, I take a shower in the morning, and if any slight breeze hits it when it's damp, it'll oh, no. puff up uncontrollably. Yeah, you can see my hair sheds much issue. more because they're like long, dark snakes all over the place. It looks like the girl from the ring ran back and forth down a single <laughs> path in my house. They also travel like burrs in the wind. I don't know how they do it. I'm pretty impressed with them, actually. My roommate will find hairs in their room and clothes. Friends will find them in their house when I've never been there before. There's probably a <laughs> radius around my house 
house that's just contaminated. Scientists have found that you're never more than three kilometers away from a Jaden hair. So getting an undercut, while not a complete solution to my hair problem, was helpful because now I just have less hair to lose. I'm content with the hairstyle I've got now. It's gone through a lot growing like up. For most of my childhood, like it was pretty long and straight. You can girl. see that when James and I watched my childhood videos. There was one time in sixth grade where my mom accidentally cut it too short and it looked like a coconut, but we're not going down that path today. My mom always wanted me to do fun stuff with my hair, so she'd always be like, let's do something cool with your hair. And I've been like, no, I'm fine. I like being at and having no attention grabbing features. But in freshman year of high school, I was like, new school, new me, let's do it. So we put two <laughs> streaks of red in my hair, which I thought was really cool. Dave, I'm coming for your brand. Twice. Yeah, that Dave lasted maybe a half really a year cool until I wanted style. to change the I color like of the him. streaks. So we went a little further and made them purple into pink streaks. Then after oh. I got bored of that, we went even further and instead of having the streaks, we made the ends fade into purple into pink. Whoa. I like that one a lot because you could see the color more Damn. often. Then in college, I changed from purple into pink into just into purple. I wish she had showed some pictures of those, those haircuts because in animation they look cool but I'm just curious how they actually looked uh, on her head. It was more subtle, but I liked it a lot. It was probably my favorite of the of color styles cool I had. Everything was great about the colored hair, hair except not I because it was annoying. Cool if any of you have had colored like hair, which I'm assuming statistically at least one of you have, because it's the internet and we're mm. quirky, then you know the hell of maintaining colored hair. Right after you get it done, you take a shower and all of a sudden the dye is staining the water oh, no. and the bathroom and literally everything. Goodbye, white towels. I never oh, trusted no. you anyway. You go to sleep with damp hair. Oh, I didn't know the white pillowcase I own is actually a quarter purpley pink exactly where I put my head. After like a week or two, it starts just straight up looking bad. Everything's faded and it looks like an ugly straw that isn't a color. So you've got to go back to the salon at least every month to assure people that the ugly straw isn't a decision you made and it actually does look good, I promise. And if your hairdresser isn't your mom, then sucks for you. That's at least 200 bucks literally down this purple stained drain again. I'm not here to say colored hair is bad and not worth it. I enjoyed it a lot when I had it. I'm just mentioning the law of equivalent Amazing. exchange that comes with having really Really dope looking hair. Exactly. Would I have colored hair again? Probably not. Do I regret when I did have it? Probably not. I had fun and got it all out of my oh, system and now so I cute. like having my natural hair color again. Wanna hear something probably gross? No wait, please don't leave. One time when I was a kid, it was Sunday morning and I went into my parents' room to watch cartoons on their TV. And as I got onto their bed to get comfy, wow. I felt something this weird so and tickly on my leg. So I looked to see what it was and somehow one of my mom's hairs was thick enough to pierce through a shallow part of my skin and out again. So it was like I sewed my leg with one of my mom's hairs. It didn't really bother me, I just pulled it out and kept watching cartoons. But oh. I still think about it every once in a while. What? I think my mom's Hercules. I like my hair. I wish I knew more about how to style it. How does it pierce to your sc skin? What? That's like craziest hair thing I've ever heard. Or do stuff with it. I'm kind of intimidated by my hair How? because I don't want to make it look bad. So I'm content with just having it do its That's thing so most weird. of the time. And if it's bad, it's only like 50% my fault. Luckily, I can draw it in any way I want. And you'll never know if it's messed up or not. <laughs> I want to know <laughs> if anyone... Ari stuck in her head. All right, and that's the end of the video. Um, the last story was kind of crazy, right? She had a hair on her leg, that's her mom's hair, and it, it, it went into her skin? What, how does that even happen? <laughs> that's like the craziest thing ever. I'm having a hard time believing it, but it's a, uh, it's a very relatable uh, video. Growing out your hair, dyeing your hair a different color, all of those things are fun, but it's so high maintenance, like, yeah, just, once I, I have tried growing out my hair so many times and at the end of the day I just yeah keep going back to simple simple haircuts so I can keep a simple routine so yeah there's that guys thank you so much for watching if you haven't seen the original video I don't know why you would watch a reaction video before the original video but if you haven't seen I'll put a link down in the description go ahead and check that one out and if you're new here 
make sure to subscribe hit that bell button let me know down in the comments what video would you like me to check out next and with that being said i'll see you in the next one peace